All right, so now in my previous video, I showed you exactly how to register and get started with the Mavi Global. And I did also promise you that I will show you what to do when you um, log in for the first time. So in this video, we are going to do exactly that. I will show you what to do when you are logging in for the first time to your Mavi Global dashboard. So I already have the login page displayed and my email address is already populated together with my password so the next step is to click on the sign in button so let's see what happens when you click on the sign in button for the first time the first thing you will see when you are logging in for the first time um, on your mavi dashboard or back office is this notification here it says back office subscription needed if you haven't purchased back office subscription, you are no longer receiving the following benefits. Business volume points or BVs, bonuses like team bonuses, matching bonuses, direct bonus uh, is also capped to $100 per week, right? So in other words, if you haven't paid the once a year subscription fee of $49, you would not receive these above benefits, all right? So if you are aware that without the back office subscription, you can lose BV points, accumulation and bonuses, you can check this box. So just tick on this box. And then if you do not want to lose the above mentioned benefits, you can click on get back office subscription now, right? So when you click on get back office subscription now, what will happen is that you will get more information that shows you that you have 30 days to pay the, the, the $49 uh, yearly subscription fee. And if you are ready to do that right now, you can just scroll down a little bit and then click on where it says extend until 30th of October 2024, which is 12 months from the time I am recording this video. Obviously, it will be a different date for you depending on which date you're registering. All right. So if you are ready with your $49, just go ahead and click on extend until that date and then continue. It shows you that uh, the, the yearly subscription that you need to pay is $49. So if you are ready again with your $49, just click on continue with selection and click on buy with Tether USDT. And then select the network where you're going to be sending your USDT from or through. Just click on here and then when you go down, you will see three options. You can pay through the Altron chain, which uses the ULC 20 standard, or you can send it through the Binance Smart Chain, which is the BEP 20 standard, or you can send your USDT through the Tron network blockchain, which is the TRC 20 standard. So in my case, I normally use TRC 20 because of low fees. So Let's just say you also want to go with uh, the Tron network. You can go with whatever you want to go with. But for demonstration purposes, let's just assume that you are selecting the Tron network blockchain. So you would click on it. And then this uh, important notification, you need to make sure that you read it so that you don't make mistakes. It says you are sending a Tron network TRC20 token. If the payment will be made to the wrong destination address, or by using the wrong network, it cannot be refunded. So double check the payment details before confirming the transaction, right? So to continue, click the button that says, I understand and I want to see the wallet address, click on it. And then when you click on the create order button, you will have this summary that Again, reminds you that you're going to be paying $49 in USDT through the Tron network, which is the TRC20. And then the wallet address that you need to send your USDT to. All right. So all you need to do at this point is to click on the copy button to copy the provided address. You can even close this window and then go to the wallet that you're going to be using to pay your one year subscription fee of $49. In my case, I'm using Binance. So basically what I would do is to go to my Binance wallet. 
after opening it i would click on wallets by the way you can use kucoin you can use okx or any other exchange that supports the network that you want to use to send your usdt right so once in my case because i'm using binance once i get to uh, wallets then i will click on or you will click on sport and then click on usdt and then click on withdrawal because you are withdrawing usdt from binance to uh, the address that you copied from mavi global dashboard and then click on send via crypto network and then paste the address that you would have copied from the mavic global dashboard or back office and then remember that you said you wanted to send in my case i said i wanted to i want to send my usdt uh through the tron blockchain so where it says network i need to click here and then scroll all the way to the bottom and select tron trc20 if you selected or if you yeah if you selected uh, 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 Binance chain you would obviously select the first option which is bnb smart chain but again in my case i selected tron so i will click the last one and then indicate how much i want to send now because binance i mean sorry the tron blockchain charges one dollar fee standard fee to send any amount of usdt uh in my case if i put 49 dollars i will only receive 48 dollars on my mavi global back office which is not going to be sufficient so what does that mean it means that i need to type 50 dollars here so that on the other side in other words on my mavi global dashboard i will receive exactly 49 dollars and that 49 dollars will activate my back office uh, for the next 12 months for one year so basically i will just uh, click on withdraw and confirm the withdrawal from my binance and then the amount of usdt that i specified here which is 50 dollars but i will receive 49 dollars on the other side will be sent from my binance to my mavi dashboard to activate my mavi back office all right, so now in this video, all I wanted to do was to show you how to pay your Mavi Global yearly subscription of $49. So when I click on the menu here and then go to orders, you will see that um, the $49 USDT subscription fee has been paid. Uh, again, remember this is a yearly subscription fee that you need to pay in order for you to be able to have full access to all the tools that are available inside the Mavi Global back office. So I hope that this video has been informative and if you did learn something please consider subscribing and liking this video. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.